Hello there guys, welcome back again to another Blu-ray media book update. Uh, the first one for November, uh, got a bunch of cool things in already. Uh, really pleased with uh, some of these. So I've got five to show you, and we're going to kick things off with um, a bit of cult 90s uh, sci-fi horror. And that's off the movie uh, Cube, uh, from 1997, a cool little Canadian movie. Uh, more of a thinking man's uh, horror film, this one. Uh, it's about a bunch of people that wake up in a, a cube-like maze with uh, a bunch of rooms that they have to try and uh, get themselves out of to try and navigate to safety. And uh, each room has its own solution to uh, to escape, but there's also some nasty traps uh, to go through in the process, so it does make for some grisly viewing at times. Uh, really good stuff, good fun. Uh, highly recommended if you haven't seen it already. So yeah, this movie, uh, well, just been put out by... Uh, uh, Nameless Media of Germany, really cool label. Uh, they've given it a nice cover here. It looks like it's been pencil sketched. Uh, Colouring pencils, it's uh, really nicely done. And uh, a bit of a uh, spot gloss on the title text there. And on the uh, spine. And this one is Cover C, which I believe was limited to 444 copies. Yeah. And there was uh, four different covers available for this one. Uh, but this is uh, this cover was the more eye-catching to me. So uh, a lovely looking release. Uh, the special features, uh, they've just been carried over from the previous Blu-ray releases. So nothing exclusive there. This has been released on Blu-ray in the UK. It's uh, quite accessible. Uh, last time I checked. So yeah, let's give you a quick look on the inside. There you go. There's a Blu-ray disc. And a DVD copy as well. And about 20 pages, I think it is. And this movie was blessed with a couple of decent sequels as well, I thought. Uh, Cube 2 and Cube 0, which is actually a prequel. And it just answers some questions behind the uh, mysterious cubed maze that the people are stuck in. And I would like those uh, on Blu-ray and uh, in a nice media book as well. It would make a great trilogy to have on the shelf. But yeah, well worth your time if you haven't seen this, guys. Uh, Cube from 1997. Very cool. Right, moving on, uh, we have All Hallows' Eve uh, from 2014, uh, also known as uh, Terrifier the Beginning. And this was the uh, first movie appearance uh, of Art the Clown, who of course went on to have his own standalone movie not too long ago uh, called The Terrifier, which is also getting a sequel of its own. And um, yeah, absolutely one of my favourite media book covers, this one, love this. And they make a great pair, so I'm really happy to have these two on the shelf now. And um, this one, All Hallows' Eve, uh, pretty decent anthology, this one. Uh, got some pretty disturbing moments of gore in this. And uh, uh, for an anthology movie, it was pretty decent, I thought. A good wraparound episode as well. Um, it only hit DVD over here in the UK, so I'm quite curious to see how it's going to look on Blu-ray. But um, yeah, lovely looking uh, media book from... Uh, a label called Cine Strange, which is, which is new to me. My first pick up from these guys, and they've done a damn, a damn good job. I like the glossing detail on the front cover there; just makes the image pop off the cover. Really nice. And uh, this one is uh, Cover D, um, which was limited to three hundred and thirty-three copies. Um, these uh, are selling very well. Um, a lot of them are sold out already. There's some really cool covers for this one. Which are very hard to get hold of now. So there you go. 24 pages to go through. All in German of course. Being a German edition. And it's a Blu-ray only edition. So no DVD copy in this one. There's your Blu-ray disc. And uh, there you go. There's Art the Clown there. Played by a different actor in this one. Uh, a different actor played portrayed him in uh, the Terrifier movie. Uh, but both do a good job. He does make for a memorable, memorable character. Uh, if a bit overrated, though, to Terrifier. So, yeah. Pretty gruesome stuff. Looking forward to revisiting this one. I haven't seen it for a couple of years. There's also an All Hallows' Eve Part 2, which I don't think features Art the Clown in that one. 
uh, but I still grabbed that at some point. Uh, but anyway, here we have uh, All Hallows Eve from 2014. That's worth a look, guys. Uh, next up, we have one that I finally got off the wish list. And that's uh, the movie Zedda. Also known as uh, Revenge of the Dead. I think this one came out in 1981 or 82. It's an Italian-made zombie movie. And I've been really wanted to see the film. It's never been released in the UK, to my knowledge. And I really wanted it with this cover. I love this cover. And, uh, yeah, like I said, the movie's intriguing. Uh, it's been marketed uh, as a, a Dawn of the Dead type movie. But it's uh, quite different to that. Um, it's more of a slow burn uh creepy atmospheric type movie so it's quite restrained with the gore so don't expect any you know, lots of uh, bloody carnage in this one from what, from what I've been led to believe so I'm just preparing preparing myself for that and looking forward to a good creepy watch it's actually meant to be more of a ghost story than a zombie film as well but um definitely into in, when I'm in the mood for a good slow burn I'll throw this one on a good late night watch I think so yeah a blu-ray media book here from uh the X-Rated Cult label, uh, long established, uh, put out some really cool stuff. Not always English friendly, but luckily this one has English subtitles. So there's the back cover there. And there are some special features, there's a couple of commentaries. I can't confirm yet if they are English friendly though. Uh, this particular cover is uh, cover B, limited to 333 copies. And you also get two bonus movies in this one, which is a really nice surprise. I wasn't expecting that at all, especially one of the films that's included. So let's give you a quick look on the inside. So here are all the films that are included in uh, this edition, as you can see here. One of those bonus movies is uh, Living Dead at the Magister Morgue, which is a fantastic zombie movie uh, from 1974. That's a brilliant film. And this one here, uh, an independent German made movie called Help Me I Am Dead which I have already on Blu-ray which is okay it's a bit of a slow burn has its moments of gore now and then but it just um, just a bit long but it does have a good creepy setting but um, yeah here you go Zedda that's the main feature of the uh, edition here and it's actually uh, on the same disc as uh, Living Dead at the Manchester Morgue so uh, this is very much uh, turned into a double feature which I, I wasn't expecting and there's your limited edition number there, 229. And there's the uh, standalone disc for the other bonus movie, Help Me, I Am Dead. And actually, half the booklet has been de dedicated to uh, Living Dead at the Magister Morgue. So, yeah, very much a double feature, more like. But, um, like I said, a great film. Uh, very much deserving of a nice, lavish release on its own. Living Dead at the Magister Morgue, brilliant film. But um, all the text here in German... Uh, the the uh, first portion of the booklet is all about Zedda, which is what I'm more interested in with this release. So there you go. That is Zedda, or Revenge of the Dead, as it's also known. Right, next up, we have a uh, a sequel to a, an, an, a US independent slasher from a few years back. And that is Orphan Killer 2, uh, Bound Blood. Which was uh, pretty good fun. I actually had the first one on media book as well. And uh, Orphan Killer was a, a fairly straightforward standard slasher. Lots of uh, graphic gory kills in it. But um, didn't really offer too much uh, originality. But uh, Orphan Killer 2 surprisingly turned out a lot differently than the first one. Um, it was a surprise character turn in the movie. I don't want to spoil it. But it does make for some uh, pretty good fun moments. Uh, of course lots of gore. Decent body count in this one as well. And uh, yeah, a bit more entertaining than the first one I thought. And uh, a really awesome cover as well. I uh, love the grisly artwork on this one. This has been put out by 8 Films, who I believe are an Austrian label. So that's a, a really cool cover, I love that. And there's the back cover. Here we have... Uh, the uh, limited edition, I think it's limited to 666 copies. I'm not sure which cover this one is. There is four different covers, I think. But this one was the more eye-catching of the uh, bunch for me. There's a, a rundown of the uh, special features there. Do get some. Um, I believe this one's coming out on Blu-ray in the US very soon, so look out for it. But I believe it made its premiere here in this, this edition. 
and it's uh, well worth your time as well. If you like the first one, you'll be quite surprised in the uh, direction this one takes. So there's the uh, Blu-ray discs there, and a DVD copy thrown in as well, and about 24 pages on the inside. Really nice book, got some good behind the scenes uh, stills. All the text will be in German. So there you go guys, that is a... Uh, <coughs> oh, excuse me. <laughs> Orphan Killer 2. Uh, Bound Blood. Right, and last up for this uh, media book update. Oops. We have a, a nice beefy edition of... Death Wish from um, France. This is a new French release with a nice uh, 112 page booklet inside so it's a pretty thick media book this one. I wasn't expecting it to be uh, quite as lavish as this one uh, as this has, has turned out and it's a shame that it's all in French because it looks like a really good read. Uh, I think everybody knows what Death Wish is all about. Uh, fantastic uh, revenge movie, vigilante theme and uh, spawned a whole bunch of sequels and uh, yeah very good stuff. I also have um, Death Wish 2 in a German media book but unfortunately there was no uh, Death Wish 1 put out in Germany in a nice media book so I'm quite glad the French put this one out so I've got these two on the shelf. I need to get the others uh, 3, 4 and 5. I haven't seen those but I really like these two in particular and uh, let's see if you look at the back there and it contains a great book on the inside. It gives you a, a write-up on each of the Death Wish movies uh, and the uh, remake with Bruce Willis and the uh, similar themed film, uh, uh, what's it called, Death Sentence uh, with Kevin Bacon, which is also a great film. Need to grab that one on media book as well. So there you go. I doubt all these special features will be in uh, English, but the movie is, and it's uncut if you don't have it already and if, if you're interested in this one. So there is the uh, Blu-ray disc, and a DVD copy, and the 112-page uh, booklet, like I said, gives you a write-up on each of the uh, Death Wish uh, sequels. There's the remake there, Bruce Willis. Uh, the one with uh, Kevin Bacon, Death Sentence. That was a really good film, I need to get that on Blu-ray as well. There it is, Death Sentence. Uh, Death Wish... Uh, Gosh, I, went up, I think it went up to part 5. I think they stopped there. So yeah, lots to go through. If you're a French speaker and you like the movie, this is definitely an addition for you to get. Or if you're a big fan of the uh, Death Wish movies in general, this is a nice one for your collection. So there you go. There is Death Wish, a new French media book. And that is it for this update, guys. Uh, thank you very much for watching, all the new subs, the comments, uh, much appreciated. Any questions regarding these releases, just uh, leave them below and I'll do my best to answer them for you. So until next time guys, you take care, I'll see you in the next one.